Hey guys, this is Dr. Alm. I'm here at Friendship CrossFit uh, with K Money, <laughs> Krista Griffin. Uh, I wanted to talk today about the knee valve cue. It's been getting a lot of a lot of hype and a lot of conversation all over the web. Uh, it's a great cue, but I wanted people to kind of understand when to use the cue and really what it's trying to do. Um, so first off, the knees out cue is used when people are squatting or cleaning, overhead squatting, snatching, whatever. And it's a cue to resist the position where the knee falls inward, which is called valgus, right? So valgosity is when your knee collapses towards the midline, and a varus position is when the knee goes outside. Now, you don't want to have excessive positions either too far out or too far in. I think some coaches have been overemphasizing too far out. And I, in, in my clinic, I see problems that athletes are coming in where they're trying to do this and maintain this excessive varus position. And they're coming in with essentially um, patella tendonitis because they're overusing the patella here, right? And we don't want that. We just want the knee to be in a normal physiological position during squatting uh, and all other movements. So, Essentially, the way the body's structured is we've got you know, the foot with the medial longitudinal arch on the inside here, right? And we need to maintain good stability of that foot to help control the position of the knee. Now, the other joint that helps control the position of the knee is going to be the hip. And when we have that knees collapsing inward, that, that valgus position that we see during squatting, that essentially is going to be a collapsing of that medial longitudinal arch, which is going to internally rotate the tibia and allow the tibia to collapse inwards, and then the knee's going to follow suit. The hip has to then fight extra hard to keep the knee out of that position. Typically doesn't win that battle, which is why in previous uh, discussions we've talked so much about maintaining a good tripod on the foot so that from the ground up we can keep the knee and the hip in a good position. But what is happening with this, when that foot collapses, when that knee collapses, everything is internally rotating and the legs are adducting, right? And we see this when someone is doing a really heavy squat. Now just the way the body's made, the muscles that would control or resist this position tend to get inhibited when we put them in environments where they have to work extra hard. That's why people can squat, a body weight squat with really good positioning, but you load them up to near maximal loads and one side or the other side will collapse inward, right? We need to resist that. That's where that knees out cue comes from. But we don't want to do it excessively, right? So what the knees out cue is doing is it is activating the muscles that essentially perform the opposite motion to that internal rotation adduction valgus position. So we're going to activate the glutes, which are going to be external rotators abductors to help maintain the knee in a normal physiological position. Now the question is, well, what is that position? Well, essentially, if we have Christian squat down here, we want to have the foot loaded, of course. That's very, very important. But the knee should be pointing outside of the big toe, but not lateral to the pinky toe. So if we go extreme the other direction, I don't even know if she has the mobility to do it. She does not. Um, we can see that she has to elevate her foot, lose that tripod to get into that position. Now, even if she can maintain that foot position, we don't want the knee to go that far out because she's actually torquing her knee in the opposite direction. So we want to keep the foot loaded and the knee just outside the big toe, but not outside the pinky toe. Go ahead, stand up. So the knees out cue is a great cue for athletes whose knee is collapsing inward, but it is not a good cue for athletes whose knees are already maintaining a good tracking position just over the foot. So play around with that and let me know what you think.